All right, I'm gonna show you a little something here. Here's a little peg oil that is for this vehicle, 36 viscosity or 46 viscosity, I mean. Uh, this is video two, and remember, I checked this for leakage before touching the system because I wanted to see if it was leaking. I still have not gauged up because I do not want to disturb that valve, but I go to check if it's leaking and I put the leak detector up to it very small next to nothing it's always normal to have a little bit of refrigerant in there after you remove the uh, gauge all this blackness up here is dust it's not paint and actually the whole shaft was black and thick this had a lot of long time dust buildup I cleaned it and polished it off now I'm gonna show you something to let's look for a leak let's uh, just put a little bit of oil in here and we're gonna look for bubbles. There we go. And let's zoom in there. Let's see if we get another bubble. That bubble might have just been from... So what we're looking for is bubbles at this valve core. And that's just a bubble that was formed by me pouring in because there's no new bubbles being formed. Let's get see how close we could get this close up focused in. There we go. Now we can see all the way to the bottom of the oil. That's completely filled up with oil. And as you see, there's no bubbles. So is this video two or three? Can't remember. Um, so that's one method. Now I'm going to start the vehicle up and see if this leaks after starting it up because sometimes if there's refrigerant in here sometimes when this suction line on this low side fitting gets cold they'll start leaking but they won't leak when it's hot so we'll come back to video the next video and we'll see if this leaks after i start the vehicle up